this is Seshanan from Aerotech Solutions. So I'll explain a simple application in embedded C by using 8051 microcontroller and with LED interfacing, DC motors and keypad, LCD. I'll keep on explaining all the videos. So in this present application, I just want to introduce basic LED interfacing with 8051 controller and programming with Keel Microvision and you can watch simulation output by using Proteus. Let's see this Keel Microvision how to write program with this. So this is my existence project and just closing it. Now so you have to follow this steps to create a project first of all click on project tab and choose the option new microvision project and now you need to save your project in a specific folder so i'm just selected d drive otherwise you'll get confusion with linking hex file so that it should be very clear where you are saving your project select your drive and select your folder now give the project name so I'm just giving the name as switch LED and give the project name and click on save so now this is a window to choose the microcontroller from different manufacturers. The Keel Microvision supports for all different families and different ma manufacturers. From this list, so you can work with any device. So Philips, Samsung, there are many microcontroller manufacturers supported by this Keel Microvision. So from this list, I'm just choosing one specific microcontroller from Atmel. Just select your manufacturer and click on plus mark. You'll get list of devices from this Atmel manufacturer. And from this list, just select your AT89351. Click on OK. And this is the startup code warning. Just click on no. Up to now, you created a project for a specific target device. Now click on file and choose the option new. So this is your text editor. Here you need to type your program. So one switch I am just declaring with one IO pin and another declaration LED which is connected with another IO pin. this is your main function and you need to define the status of two things LED remains zero by default all IO pins contain logic one so that I am making clear LED logic so what is the output I am expecting if switch is closed so that close means as per ground so whenever you are connecting switch other terminal with ground you need to check your condition with logic 0 
so that whenever you are closing your switch LED should be high but how much time your LED should remain high so until releasing the button so that the releasing part I am just checking with this while condition so while switch remains 0 LED becomes 1 otherwise LED becomes 0 this is my program now how to check this output by using Proteus simulation so but which is not possible directly with the program you need to create hex file so let's see the process for compiling the program first go file tab and choose the option save so here you need to save your program with .c extension don't forget your program should save with .c now your file is saved now so your program has to compile with respect to target just select your target from project workspace window and click on plus mark it will show the option source group 1 select source group 1 and right click and choose the option add files to source group 1 now select your program which program you are looking to compile with respect to target select it and add and close once the program is added with respect to target you'll get plus mark for source group now go with the project tab and choose the option build a target or else f7 from your keyboard so that it will show errors and warnings present in program if you do any mistakes with any syntax and all so it will show the errors with a specific line number now to create hex file so you should go with this target option select the, your target again and choose the option options for target target one now you need to mention your oscillator frequency which is connected from hardware I am just giving 11.0592 MHz and highlight this use on chip from option and click on output tab and highlight this create hex file option click on ok now build it this for your program your project is created now now minimize your development tool and open your simulation tool which is Proteus so now whatever the components you are looking just click on this P symbol it means pick the devices from library now I am looking 889 C51 controller and one button and one LED just select your all the components from this pick devices window now just place your each component individually so just as per your program you need to do connections so you are connecting button with 1.0 and LED with P1.1 so I'm just giving one terminal of switch is connected with 1.0 and P1.1 logic other terminal is connected with LED but 
switch requires ground connection the ground connection you can take it from terminals mode the ground is commonly required for switch one end and LED cathode so now just after giving all your hardware connections just double click on this controller it will ask for program file path and just use this folder symbol to link your hex file from keel to proteus just click on this folder symbol it will expect hex file path from your computer select your specific drive and go with this specific folder now this is my hex file just open it and mention the same clock frequency and click on ok now use this play button to run your hardware output let's see the no response from LED whenever you are closing it then you will get proper response again you release the button LED goes off if you hold it LED comes to on as per my logic switch is closed LED comes to on but how much time it waits until release the button again I am releasing LED becomes on this is the way to cross check your program you can develop your own hardware with produce and you can cross check your outputs so and we are aerotech solutions from hyderabad if you need any training and project related and you are doing training and placement programs so we will give guarantee placement on three levels completion even we are doing small solutions with the industry related for more videos just follow our channel youtube slash heretic solutions like share comment and this is our address you can reach us you are located near to kphp metro station hyderabad for more details just contact or whatsapp 9676327118 thanks for watching